Hi all, it's Denise and it is Friday afternoon and I've been playing in my studio uh, a little bit today and I actually wanted to share something that's kind of new to me. I've only done it a couple of times but I'm kind of excited to explore it and haven't found out a lot more about it. I haven't found a lot online um, about cold wax but in cleaning out my studio this week, I came across a can of Gamblin Cold Wax Medium and wasn't sure why exactly I bought it. I can't remember. But um, I looked it up on YouTube, looked it up online and thought, hmm, I'm going to give this a shot with collage. I did find one person who actually used the Gamblin cold wax for collage. So normally I think it's mixed with oil paints and used in painting. It's kind of a substitute for caustic wax and doesn't doesn't involve the hot wax and melting it and the torch and, and all of that. It's just a substitute and it's a lot easier to work with. So I'm gonna show you what I know so far. Um, this is one of the pieces that I've done and I'm going to show you what I, one of the things I really love. Other than it really blends and bonds things to a really nice smooth surface. But when you've got it all done and you let it set up a little bit, you can buff it out. Take a soft cloth and buff it out. And you get this really nice, let me see if I can show it to you, this really nice luster about it. A nice shine, kind of... The same kind of thing if you do chalk paint on furniture and you buff it out with wax. I love that. It's really soft and smooth and, and it's a pretty luster. It's not like a shiny uh, varnish or top coat that we normally use. So that's one of the pieces that I did. This is another one that I just finished. And it's got a little bit of everything in it. I even have fabric in it. So I'm kind of doing a series. I have uh, these two and I have another piece that I'm going to work on and show you how I did it. And I suggest that you kind of get a layout of what you want to do and kind of get an idea before you start. Um, one of the beautiful things about it is as you're working, you can kind of move things and reposition them with no trouble at all. So. And that being said, I'm going to just get started. So I've got my basic layout of what I want. And this is always the tricky part. Moving things and shuffling them around. Okay, so I'm starting out with a um, ampersand board. And it's already got the little marks in to hang it. So I've got to make sure that I put it the right direction, which I have done the wrong way many times. And let me show you how easy this is. I uh, just got my wax here. It's a nice soft wax. And you just start to trowel it on. And I trowel it on, mm, you know, I'm putting it on pretty thick. Especially shows up nicely with this black board. So that was a good choice of substrates. So I've got that all nice and troweled on. Whoops. Got to make sure I cover the whole area that I'm going to be putting it on. And that might be all this piece needs uh, since it's such a thin uh, paper to start with. This is a handmade paper that I love. It has a little bit of a shine to it, a little bit of a gold to it. So I'm going to get my bottom pieces on first. Here's a piece of metallic wallpaper. And I'm working fast just for the sake of the video, but you really don't need to work fast because this really is a product that's meant to go with oil paints. Um, and it's actually, I believe, Gamsol, which is an oil painting medium mixed with beeswax. So you have plenty of time to work with it. I'm lining up my edge. And then I am going to put another coat on the top of this because I want things to stick to this. And this is a pretty heavy paper. It's a wallpaper. So um, it's kind of like frosting a cake, which I love.
Now, my next thing is I took a piece of cheesecloth and I wrapped it in several um, metal, rusty metal elements and sprayed water on it. Let me see, I think I, I may have wrapped it with this and just wrapped it up and put some twine around it and let it dry and I ended up with this really great um, cheesecloth that has a nice rust pattern to it. So I'm gonna take that and I just kinda wanna lay it in there, figure out where I want it and then I'm going to lay some more wax down. Oops, that's one of my hairs. Don't need that in there. Okay, and let's see, how do I want to do this? I kind of like this showing. I like that pattern. And you can get it. So it lays smooth, but you can also have some of the par parts of it, you know, show still the um, dimension. Use it for a little dimension in your, in the fabric. And tap some of it down. You can kind of play with it. It's, it's fun. Now another thing that I do like to add is because this is something that can be mixed with uh, paint, I'm going to take a little bit because I like to put some, I've been kind of liking putting little marks on, um, on my pieces. For instance, these little marks down here, I mixed white, white oil paint with the cold wax. I did those just to add a little punch. I did the same on this one with these little dots. And then just a little touch here and there uh, with the, the white oil paint. So all I did is take my wax, add just a little bit of, of oil paint, and I'm doing about a 50-50 blend. And we'll get that mixed in. And then I just gotta decide where I want this. I also could do, let me wipe this off, in case I might wanna do another color. Here's a uh, raw umber. Just need a dab. Okay. I'm not doing a perfect mix job. I'm being really quick just for the sake of the video. And then I kind of like maybe take the edge of this and I'm going to just do a rough little frame on this, on my verse. Bring some attention to it and make sure it's just not all, all white paper. So I kind of like that. If I wanted to do, let's see, maybe do I want to add white to this? This is the scary part because once I add that white, um, I can't really go backwards. But I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to add it right, take a swatch of it here, and add it right down here. Okay, and then I have a little, what I call my wipeout tool, and it actually I think it's for uh, ceramics, and and it's got a little rubber tip, little chisel tip, and I can go through. I'm going to do that same mark that I have on the other one, and I'm just dragging that through and letting the black show through. Hopefully, I know you can see that. It's pretty simple. Um, 
No, I'm going to leave it there. But then I feel like I always want to revert, uh, repeat that that color, that design over on the other side. Or that just that color, bring a little bit of white over here. Where would I do that? I could do something really, really simple. Just like... That's all I need. Not even sure I needed that, but would I want to do this? Maybe take the white and then do a little brown of the burnt umber in it, the raw umber. Let's see. Mm, not sure I like it, so here's what I'm going to do. Just gonna wipe it off. Didn't like it. I didn't mind the white, but didn't like that the um, raw umber. So I'm gonna go back to doing the white, and maybe I'll just do something a little bit more unplanned in its mark. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Love even numbers. I'm um, odd numbers. So there you go. That is what I came up with. Um, and then I'll let it dry. I, I think what I'll do with this is I may even wait until everything is dried up and glue this down, this little piece of wood, and I have room to play. But everything is. Um, in its place. Now, let's say I come back an hour from now, I will still be able to pick this up and make a change if I come back and decide I don't like that. And there you go. Now, that's what I've learned so far about coal wax. I have found um, one little uh, information sheet online that is Cold Wax Techniques in Mixed Media by Sharon Binham. And um, she gives a lot of information on, on wet media, dry media, substrate, the supplies, your basic techniques. And if you go online, and I, I would give you the website, but if you look up Sharon Binham, Cold Wax Techniques in Mixed Media, you can get this sheet of paper and it will help you get a start. But I totally think it's fun. It's worth exploring. It's another way to do collage. And like I say, when you're done with it, you just get this really awesome sheen. I love that sheen. That is the coolest. That's really fun. So uh, there you go. That's what I got for you today. And I hope you enjoyed it.